Hello and welcome to Computer Class. My name is Dave and today we're talking about which code editor you should download. So I'm going to bring up some web pages here and show you some things that I found on the internet. Now I got some of this information from this helpful individual who wrote this web page. I will link them down in the description. Um, but some of this I already knew and honestly I just picked the top three that I liked out of all these when I was going through. So I'll start with the most obvious one on a PC, which isn't any of those. It is Notepad. If you just type Notepad into your computer, obviously you could drop some code in there or write some code. And this is what you would get. There's no um, numbered lines. There's no colors, really. It's just plain black text, which is sort of what Notepad's all about. And this is a dangerous little program. You can do a lot in it. You could probably write some really awesome crap in there. Um, but if you just press File, Save As, save this as index.html to your desktop, you know, it will run. So here it is right here. Open it up in Google Chrome. There's, there's my code running. Um, aside from that, the second one kind of on the list here, and I will leave up the very interesting one here on the side, is the Notepad++. And so I already downloaded that. Let me just open it up. And here is the code inside of there. Same code, like a fresh install here. Notice this one, if you save it, it has color. It has numbered lines. Um, it's just, you know, and it writes lots of languages. It's just fairly ugly. Um, and I'm not hating on it. It's the standby and it's free. All of these are free. Uh, but if you have other options, you may use this, you may not. I think this one is uh, probably less weighty if you're working on an older computer or something. Um, next up, we have this one called Atom, which is a little bit uh, of a new kid on the block. And, and Atom is kind of here to replace the old standby, which is brackets. Brackets, rip. Brackets is dead. Um, they kind of sold themselves to Microsoft, I think, or something like that. But this is what I used for years, um, and now it is gone. And so sort of the other option to a code editor that looks exactly like brackets um, would be to use Atom. Um, now what we can do is to just compress Control-N and start a new one here. We've got a lot of tabs open for some reason. Oh, there's one already already made here. So you can see uh, what Atom looks like. It's very modern looking, very cool looking. Um, nice little project drop down right there. Um, and then your code highlight has the numbers. So again, writes multiple languages, has packages you can install. It's a decent program. It's definitely a step up from the, the uh, Notepad++ for sure. So I'm going to pull that one down, leave it right there. Here was the original one. Leave it right there. Kind of see these side by side. Make this a little smaller. And open up Visual Studio Code, which is probably my favorite uh, for a lot of reasons. Again, you have the numbers. Again, you have the colors. Uh, you have the ability to run live server, as, which I believe you do as well in Atom, uh, which is something where as you write code, it automatically updates and you can just run that in the browser type of thing and it just automatically does it. Uh, this one has packages that you can install, lots of popular things, uh, skins you can put on things and also other nifty little tools that you can download and install and little debug console there, um, opening things and exploring and making things. Well, what also I like this how it shows your code kind of in this this bulk format right here on this side and um, having the tabs across the top. I just love that. That's a great interface. Of course you can have that in Atom as well. You can have tabs across the top. That's pretty helpful and you can also have that in Notepad++. Um, can't have that in Notepad itself. It's It's just that's it. It's one. One and only. Um, so again, all of these are very similar. Um, I think probably the most widely used one out of all of these is the Visual Studio Code, uh, just because of the amount that you can write in it. I mean, there's a lot of languages here. If I press File New and I hit Select Language, 
uh, it just you know it goes a while here there's a lot you can write here um, and you can kind of install things pretty easily to help yourself out whether that be sas or css or html javascript you know whatever you're writing it doesn't matter c sharp uh, i don't know whatever it is this is probably um, the end all of uh, code editors so to speak so hopefully this information was helpful and you learned something today uh, about code editors and which one you want to download. Again, really doesn't matter what you choose. Uh, it all depends on your needs. Um, to me, it's it's a close tie between Atom and this Visual Studio Code one. So whatever, whatever you like. And uh, hopefully you're able to use this information for your coding needs. And as always, I will see you in the next video.